In this video, I'm going to share with you my top five tips for getting started with learning Power Apps. This is one of the top questions, how do I learn? There are multiple resources out there to learn. You're gonna to wanna to use these at different stages of the learning journey. Make sure you stay right to the end because the fifth one is the one that you're gonna to need to know about ongoing beyond getting across the basics. Let's get right into it with tip number one. So a lot of these things are built into the Power App Studio and this first one is one of those. If you go through here from make.powerapps.com, which is where you start with building Power Apps, we go into the Learn tab and you will find guided learning here. I'll put all the links to all of these things in the description so that it makes it easier for you to find. What you'll find is if you click through to the guided learning, you will land at Microsoft Learn. Now, Microsoft Learn is a free set of online learning resources and tools, not just for Power Apps, but in fact, for all of the Microsoft technologies. You can create an account, create your own learning paths in there, track your progress towards certification. You earn some pretty cool badges along the way as well. So this is a really good resource if you like that kind of guided, structured learning that will take you through step by step, work through it at your own pace in small bits at a time or binge the whole thing, <laughs> whatever works for you. So Microsoft Learn, free, awesome resource to get started with learning a about Power Apps. In a similar vein, and you'll find this in here as well in this section called Help Topics, is the Microsoft Docs. Now this is a little bit more, well, it, it's the documentation really. It's like the user manual for all of these um, technologies. So if, uh, if you prefer rather than something that's written as learning resources, just to kind of flick through and open the manual, then the Microsoft Docs are there as well. So that's number one there. You've got both the guided learning and the help topics for you to work through. I reckon I might have just given you two for the price of <laughs> two for the price of one there. All right, number two here is lab-based learning. So there is a program called App in a Day, which gets a lot of um, talk. You can download the materials for that and work through them at your own pace, or you can attend an event. So you'll find App in a Day, this resource list here, I'll also pop a link in the description, is a list of all sorts of learning resources, including uh, the lab-based learning that I'm talking about. If we scroll down here through to the I'm new, help get me started, you'll see training labs and there it is there app in a day if you click on that it will download a bunch of resources that you can work through this will take you step by step click by click through building out a power app heaps in there it's a pretty comprehensive program quite a lot to get through but you will learn that specific scenario and be able to work through that and get some great hands-on experience if you prefer to do it with an instructor guiding you, and this is something I've run a lot of, there are app in a day events going on around the place online, uh, perhaps in uh, some places in, uh, in person as well, but you can always visit this site to find those events online. So that's number two is lab-based learning. Now, the thing with the lab-based learning is that it actually takes you through a specific scenario in great detail, but if you're after sort of more general principles rather than that specific scenario, then number three is to work through the Power Apps training app. Did you even know there was such a thing? This one doesn't get as much chatter as some of the other things that we've been talking about. So you just need to know where to find this one. If I go back into my Power App Studio here, what you'll find is all templates. Keep watching. We're going to come back to templates in a minute and we're going to go through in here and scroll down a bit and then you'll find within the templates there is one called Power Apps Training. Now I can click on that. I can give it a name. I can call it Lisa's Training App. I'll be a bit lazy here and just click Create. And what that does is brings up a Canvas app that looks like this. Now this takes you through a heap of stuff hands-on learning, but kind of built into the Canvas apps, actually very clever. So lab-based learning is awesome. This is another way that will take you through some different things in a different style of learning here. And you'll see down the side, quite a lot of stuff that it's gonna take you through. And again, you can work through that at your own pace. It's got toggle switches throughout so you can mark off your progress for where you are. So that is number three there, which is to use the Power Apps learning app that is built in, also free. While we're on the subject of templates, number four, 
templates. This is actually one of my favorite ways of learning and um, one of the ways that I got started. So from within here, if we go back down to these templates, you'll find heaps of these things in here. If I click on, for instance, on boarding tasks, we can click create and just go ahead and create that app. And what that does is brings up an app that looks like this. Now, these templated apps are comprehensive. The idea here is that you can take these and run with them and just use them in your organization, make small tweaks and so on. But they're also very, very good learning resources, especially as you start to get a little bit further on in your learning journey, because look at all this stuff that's going on here. There are lots of different screens. There are lots of different components and controls and formulas and things in there. So you can kind of click around if you see something you like and, and see what's going on with all of those things and grab the formulas. Here's a tip for you. Copy and paste the formulas and just change the references. I did a lot of that when I was starting out. There is absolutely no points for originality in doing things like search and sort formulas. Just go and grab them from one of these apps and use them in your own app and you'll get the hang of it. So templates, very, very good way to learn. While we're looking at templates, the other thing that's in here is this way to make a three screen app starting from data. So if you're working with one of these data sources, and I'm just going to click on common data service there, which actually now is Microsoft Dataverse. I'm using this one because it's where my Dynamics 365 CRM lives and I'm just going to choose my accounts table in there and bibbidi bobbidi boo before you know it you've got a three screen app that will take you through a browse screen a screen where you can see more detail about the records and an edit screen you can do exactly the same thing here with a SharePoint list if that's the data source that you're more familiar with and this bit more basic than those templates but it is effectively a template app on your own data source really really good way to learn especially about things like galleries um, there's the the search function that I was talking about before that has a nice kind of formula in it look at this one here that you can start to copy paste deconstruct those things so use the templates the pre-built stuff um, and there's heaps of resources around in those to get learning with it and number five, the most important one is the community. Really what you're going to be doing here is cumulative learning, right? Nobody is born knowing this stuff. Nobody is going to sit down ever in one one kind of go and learn it all even if you do something like app in a day and you do all those things you will not step away from that knowing all of the stuff this is a cumulative learning process it's a collaborative learning process in many ways those of us who've been doing it for a little while have learnt from each other and have taught each other and there's always new stuff coming that we're always continuing to learn so Think of this as a cumulative learning path. Think about the way you learned Excel if you did that. You didn't sit down on day one and go, I can't do anything because I don't know the formulas or I can't do anything because I don't know anything. You go through a process of learning it as you need. Oh, I need to do this when you need to do a certain thing and start building something you're interested in. That's a really great way to learn. And then when you need to do something, search for it. Chances are you'll find yourself back in this awesome community. Look at the number of posts we've got here. And this grows every time I see it. There are people here all the time who are helping each other out with that learning and building that collective knowledge. We've also got a complete reference to the formulas here. If this is more your style as well. I'm not sure I know anyone who has sat down and read all of these and digested them all in once, but I mean, if that's your thing, I'm not going to judge, but dip in and out of this as well. So my tip number five, then community and cumulative learning. Don't expect to digest it all at once and start with something you're interested in that will be fun because honestly, this tech is enormous fun. I hope that's been helpful. Good luck on your Power Apps learning journey. I've got heaps more tips, tricks, tutorials, videos here about Power Apps, as well as the rest of the Power Platform, Dynamics 365 and Microsoft Teams. Please subscribe if you'd like to keep up to date with all of that.